our lab at QMR creates human cardiac tissues, organoids, which is miniature human cardiac tissue, and what we do is we use those to find new drugs for heart failure. This is one of our human heart tissues that we create. So this is under the microscope, um, and this is between two elastic posts that move as the tissue contracts. Create something that's exactly like the heart is very challenging. In this particular work, what we've done for the first time is incorporated vascular cells. And these vascular cells, they really help create the tissue, so they make the tissues better. Uh, but then they also enable us to model diseases that are driven by inflammation. And we only see that in, in the tissues where we have the vascular cell. It might sound very simple because you add some vascular cells and then you have a vascularized organoid. But you know, through this whole process, we found there's a very complicated um, cross-cell communication that occurs. So the different cell types, and that's what we also show in the paper, actually support each other in this process. And they, they instruct each other to position themselves in the organoid. They also instruct each other to secrete certain molecules that um, impact the other cell types in that organoid. And together in this ecosystem, we have something that is a, is a better representation of the human heart. It's very significant for, um, for our work because it really opens up um, our ability to model disease. Um, we can model human disease much more accurately uh, using this model and what that facilitates is our ability to screen for drugs and identify things going, going wrong in diseased hearts and, and have a faster path to identifying new therapeutics. In your heart, what, what happens is uh, if you have any damage or death of the cardiomyocytes, um, they never grow back. So you need to facilitate the remaining ones to have really good function. And that's what we're really interested in, is making the heart cells that are there um, perform better so that, you, so that you don't go into heart failure. Every day we're learning a lot of new information and we're getting closer and closer towards that goal. The challenge is going to be actually in a human delivering a therapeutic that can modify that function and you know that's where our system really gives us an advantage to progress that much faster. I think every day is extremely exciting, it's a new day and you never know what's going to happen. Uh, when we were working in this area we never set out that vascularizing the tissues we would discover that they're critical for inflammation driven dysfunction. Um, we were just looking to see what role they could play. And so, you know, every day we're surprised about what the body's doing, how it's working, and, you know, it's a, it's a great puzzle that there's a lot of mysteries that remain to be um, resolved or thought out.